evening, I'm Randy Meyer. And I'm Amy Hawker. New tonight, it was a brutal jailhouse beating caught on camera. And now Fox 9 has learned that Ramsey County has reached a settlement in that excessive force case. Fox 9 investigator Tom Lydon, which he showed us the beating back on in tape back in February and sat down with that victim. Tom, this settlement came about pretty quickly after your story in February. It sure did. When you have public officials like the mayor calling it torture, there really wasn't much question it was heading to a settlement. The only real question was the price tag. And tonight, sources confirm Ramsey County will pay the victim, Terrell Wilson, more than a half a million dollars, $525,000 to be exact, for a case of excessive force inside the jail, all caught on tape. <laughs> Sit back then. <laughs> the video was shocking, not just for its brutality, but the incompetence. Five deputies clearly struggling to get a handcuffed man wearing a spit guard strapped into a restraint chair they would later admit they did not know how to use. You ain't seen excessive force before. Corrections officer Travis Vanderwille knees the man twice in the abdomen while trying to get him to sit back in the chair. But the officer is working at cross purposes, applying pressure to the man's jaw, causing him to lift out of the chair. Vanderwille then delivers four punches to the man's stomach. The deputies will also fold him over as he struggles to breathe. The man in the chair was Terrell Wilson, who was unaware the assault was videotaped until we brought it to his attention earlier this year. Like it was so much pain. I've never been through that much pain ever. The video brought immediate condemnation from the mayor. If, if we saw a video of that arise from any other country or someplace else in the world, we would call it torture. It brought county supervisors to tears. And I'm emotional, and I'm emotional with our community because this is not okay. And Sheriff Bob Fletcher, who was not sheriff at the time of the incident, promised a slew of reforms and to change the culture in the Ramsey County Jail. Equally disturbing is the fact that no one else in that video, whether it was the six correctional officers or the two police officers, were willing to step forward and put a hand on Mr. Vanderwilly and say, hold on, I got it from here. One of the other outrageous aspects of this case is that the corrections officer, Travis Vanderwilly, was on paid administrative leave for more than a year, collecting $121,000 in salary. He was allowed to quietly resign last February while collecting an additional 10000 in sick and vacation time. Once again, the settlement agreement is for $525,000 with Terrell Wilson. It still needs approval by the Ramsey County Board. That'll happen Tuesday. Before then, no one is commenting on the record. In the newsroom, Tom Lydon, Fox 9.